Good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to say hello and let you know that um, I laid out some seeds today that, you know, last year I was really excited to get the My Patriot Supply Seed Kit, Survival Seed Kit, and I'm glad that I did. And I tried a variety of different types of vegetables. I did everything above ground and um, I really had the most luck. Now, what really started to grow pretty quickly for me was going to be this one right here, was the, um, the Black Beauty squash. This was really a fast grower, however, it does need some protection from the sun. If you're down in South Texas, uh, it's going to wilt up on you really badly around, I'd say, May. You're going to start noticing as the days get longer. It just cannot take, you know, more than six hours of sun or six to eight hours of sun, especially down here. So you're going to need a covering. And they have like a UV netting that they sell at the nursery that they keep over all their uh, plants and all different types of trees. So I'm going to make a trip over there and get that covering. But in the meantime, I can go ahead and germinate these and get these sprouted. Um, one reason I want to bring this to your attention is because, you know, we had that big freeze and it just wiped everything out. So normally these are things that I would have put in the ground. I was planning to put in the ground at the end of February or put in, you know, germinate, put in above ground, um, container. I was going to go ahead and do that. Um, you know, even though I knew I probably wouldn't be able to do that, you know, plant that many of them. Um, they do grow big. They need a lot of space to grow. So, you know, Lord willing, I'm going to go ahead and try and do it again this year. But the reason that I find this so important is because when you're hungry and there's been some kind of uh, weather event and um, it could be a freeze, it could be a drought be a tornado or hurricane you're gonna you can eat something to eat and you don't have time to germinate something in the you know 30 30 days to 60 days or you know it says sometimes on the back of the seed packet that it'll in order for it to grow or start to mature and produce something it can take up to you know 30 days to 40 days um, that's why I'm really grateful to have found this is the uh, a different variety. I know I've gone over this uh, kind of ad nauseum um, with the different types of sprouts. I do prefer the larger protein powerhouse mix from uh, My Patriot Supply that I order because um, I, I have overcrowded these a little bit again. However, I was able to get two, I'm going to call them bumper crops, uh, out of these. They don't last very long. If you're going to eat them, incorporate them into your food. If you're going to eat them as just as the only food that you have, if that's the only food that you have, you're going to get hungry. But you're going to have plenty of protein. And um, that's why I'm saying that I really believe that it's good. I'm suggest suggesting that you get more than one of these uh, sprouter kits. I'd say get as many as you can. Um, you know, get, at least have enough to rotate so i say maybe five kits if you could get about five of these kits even you know no matter how you know to a degree of incapacitated you are and i bring that up a lot because that's a lot of us out here folks there's a lot of us out there that are not able to go out there and uh, start using gardening tools and um, all the heavy you know equipment and the bending over and even the watering, picking up a watering can, um, grabbing the hose, dragging it around. You know, you, I, I, I'm kind of custom making my garden this year that I know that I physically, that are with, that is physically within my means to uh, manage and cultivate and grow. And uh, it's easy to get over amb ambitious and start to plant all these you know i mean i kind of knew some of these probably wouldn't do that well down here the uh the squash surprised me it just bloomed out of nowhere but i i had the uh pot 
that I sprouted it in in the shade and then out of nowhere it started really growing so I know from experience now when I lived in North Texas I could grow anything absolutely anything up there and I, I was real spoiled up there that I you know that kind of climate up north of uh, Denton it's just beautiful I could grow absolutely anything we did my daddy grew and uh, we he planted and tilled about an acre of land and you know we we didn't have to go to the store for produce and we had a lake and we fished my daddy hunted and he was a businessman too he could do it all he could mow the front pasture which was about 20 acres he did it in a long sleeve flannel shirt he had farmer's blood you know you get that when you work outside all your life you come up from a mom that uh, rang chicken necks um, and cooked up, made sure those boys had something to eat. I, I don't know why that makes me want to cry, but it does. Anyway, you know, I don't know if, you know, if that's what we're facing. I really don't. But it really, it, it's an opportunity for us to really get back to a way that uh, his life it becomes more meaningful. We're back more in touch with the nature and we notice the subtleties of things. And I think that's part of my attraction to these sprouts and the fact that they will grow in the dark and that they will provide you with the nourishment and what you need to eat to survive. See, the Lord thought about all that before he put us down here. And, uh, it's easy to get caught up.